Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Thief with Camchak Fisco. We're in the asylum and the game is trying to do its utmost to scare us, but so far it's simply lackluster. That sounds like the critter from the cave, actually. So those are the things we're avoiding Perhaps now? Perhaps there are some kind of medical records that can tell me more. Glass. Start poking around. So it sounds like we're facing those critters that we heard when we were in the Keeper Library. There's a passage up there. So there's like an upper area. Can we get up there? Haha! -ha. What's in the locked room of mysteries? A note. Huntfield's illness, 314-842. Tholo, Dr. Huntsfield seems to have come down with a disfiguring ailment on a, of, of the back. He has trouble standing upright and performing his operations. He asked me to examine him, but I'm afraid I could find nothing wrong. Of course, then he called me a failure and stomped away, so I neglected to mention the back of his head is now entirely bald, or that his left leg is beginning to twist as he walks. I may suggest he try his own electrotherapy techniques. I'm sure his patients will be more than happy to apply the treatment on his behalf. E. Sounds like a grumpy doctor. People didn't like him. Okay. I assume that's the same lady we saw before. So... Lessons. Lessons for mental health. 1. Repetition soothes the troubled mind. A lack of incitement promotes healing. Noise of the enemy is, of, is the enemy of well-being. Obedience is the first sign of recovery. Uh, I don't know about that. Good grief, how big is this place? Alright, I get the feeling I want to backtrack to get the stuff that I think I probably missed because this looks like the way forward. I think we want to go back to get the other stuff. I really, really do. Uh, hop down, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, we need to backtrack to go to that other side. Can already grab that note? Huh. Okay. Stage with the mannequins. Let's take a poke up here. What do we got? Excuse me. You're in the way. You're blocking traffic. Let me guess. Turn around something scary. Hey, the mannequins have moved. Creepy. Except not. 824, 841. Dr. Stedman, Huntfield heard about the little dust-up you had in the dining hall the other night. He's gloating and strutting about, saying he'll soon have authority over patient 18 due to your professional negligence. I wouldn't be surprised if we put 79 up to it in the first place. Keep an eye on him. He's far too excited to get his hands on this new test subject. Okay. Oh, now the room's full of bodies. Was that a vision of what went down? I bet that was. It's a vision of what had transpired. Another door to go through. Friggin' doors everywhere, man. This place is friggin' massive. What does this do? Expect the world to go spinning as soon as I'm done. Yep. Expected that. Something didn't like that. So did I not read this note? Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. Entertainment. 5-6. The three skit revu review. I guess. 5-18. Lady's Choice. An operetta in five parts. 6-3. Felicia's Hopsicord Honky Tonky. Okay. <laughs> 6 Summersdale Celebration. 5-2. Dinner with Dr. Stedman. Okay, that sounds like a creepy crawly. 
Is there something in here now? I don't see anything yet. I still want to go back and check the rest of this, though. Alright. So obviously that's the way forward, so we need to go back and check the other side. So yeah, my, my instincts I think are right in that regard. So we gotta go back and check the other side. See what we missed. Which means we have to go back up a floor, I believe. Yeah, yeah, up a floor. So, if we head back up a floor, we can cr crisscross back to the other side, where we heard a noise when we tried to open the door. So, that should be doable now. Uh, well, it was doable before, but I mean... <laughs> wow! Jumble thoughts, can't think straight. Don't mind me. Okay, so we go through here. The door on the left we should be able to go through, because we opened it with the vent. So what the hell's over here? Oh god, how big is this place? This is gonna take forever. Shut the door. Try to thud me to distract me while I'm in the middle of doing something. Yeah, nice try to jump scare. Yeah, uh, gonna work. Okay, so that's that. Pop the door. Quick save in case we do something stupid, because I keep forgetting to quick save. Grab this. Okay. It's like lots of shinies. Was this, what uh, kind of patient? If you got hold of this key. Five seventeen eight forty two. Double locks have been placed on the archivist's door, as various supplies have been going missing. How he's getting out, I don't know, but I suspect the watchman has been helping him. I have relocated the ladder to, from M ten to M two, so the two are no longer neighbors. That should quell the shenanigans for a while. Send a thief to catch a thief. Okay. Grab syringe. Stop. Grab syringe. Zip over to this, whatever this is, some kind of, I guess it would be like a guard station or something, I'm assuming. Okay, so, about the book, room numbers, M1, patient 16, M2, patient 14, empty, M4, patient 49, empty, 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 empty. M9, patient 97, M12, patient 31, M13, patient 56, central seclusion, empty. Alright, so, considering we're already in the middle, we might as well circle back around and do it step by step. Be methodical about this. Anything? Nope, okay. So shiny here. It's a note. Okay. 317-842. The headaches are getting worse. Some days I can barely see straight. I should be documenting my symptoms, but they come and go so rapidly at times that I'm not sure I felt them at all. All I can discern is that the patient is that they seem to grow stronger the closer I am to Dr. Huntsfield's patients. But that shouldn't even be possible. It could just be a mental strain of blocking out all the screaming. I swear he torments them on purpose if he knows it's my shift. I guess I should add paranoia to the list of symptoms. Okay. So... I have another sound. Huh, guess not. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I picked the lock for nothing? I have a hard time believing that. Huh. Weird little thing to do. Locked door with absolutely nothing in it. Central seclusion. Well, that shit's just piled up. Okay, so we're all the way to the end of the hall. Alright, so... What about 
about that. Chinese over there, zip off to the right, see where the room goes. What is this? Report, progress, 9, 12, 841. Patient 29 is showing remarkable progress following the removal of patient 18 from the women's ward. He has become both tractable and agreeable. One could assume he's almost his normal self, though I admit I am keen to see him in the treatment center for further study and analysis. His condition is not severe, currently severe enough to warrant a transfer to reformation. However, if he were to resume his previous percussive de demonstrations of anxiety, we must never forget that the bonds of mental illness are both invisible and insipid. He may require treatment yet, Dr. Huntsfield. Was it going to turn out we were a patient here too? Is that the twist they're going to go for? Because, guys, that's not really a twist. What was hidden must be uncovered, no? Okay. Heard the thing drop behind me, but it wasn't real, it was just a sound. So, okay, we carry on. Ah, I'll listen to the side room. Interesting. New map, huh? There's a lot of friggin' silverware in here, man. Whoa, that's not the button I meant to hit. There's the key. What's the book say? Found a special cash today, left by someone like me. Little pieces of copper coin as old as the city. Strange painting. And a strange painting, I think... We think the same way, but there must be more. There's a noise in the wall sometimes, a clicking sound like my heartbeat. I have to have it. I will have it. Soon. Sounds kind of like a klepto. Okay, so we got the key. This should get me into the female ward. Hi, can I help you? Do 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 do. Paper. No loitering in the halls. Night warden on duty. No noise making in the rooms. Keep doors closed. Well, I don't wanna. Screw you and your rules, man. I'm not gonna be kept down by the man. Hell no. I am defiant. I am a master thief. I do not play by your rules. Sounds like something walking around, but I don't think there really is. That's an elevator. I don't trust that. Not for a second. Wait, is that some kind of machinery? It almost sounds like machinery. Some invisible patrolling? Alright, what do we see through the hole? Yep, oh, wrong button. Alright. What's the wrong button? Okay, that's a grabbable painting. Sweet. Okay, so the hell is this thing out here? Kills or knockouts. What the hell are we even facing? Fuck. We have the painting. What is this? The mouse from the Mad Hatter? Alice in Wonderland? 
Propulsion of Civility. The jagged red script covers the back of this canvas. It's hard to make a decision when the tiles of life keep shuddering. Stay, go, stay, go. Arrows make the best letters. Okay. We're at three of six. History four. 10-18-689. Let us not forget, however, that the care of the mentally ill comes with a price. We must pay it with our care, with our patience, and with our blood. For it is of our blood that these poor creatures come, and it is to us that they owe their pe peculiar sentiments. Take, for example, the master sneak thief, so attributed to these times of woe. He is a man solely tempted by that which, to him, does not belong. A misplacement of desire to see the world in an order which must not deviate from. Okay. So I was a patient? Is that what we're saying here? So what the hell was the invisible thing? I wonder if we can see it with focus. We seem to have gotten everything in this particular area. We just gotta get the hell out past whatever that is. My instincts want me to just sprint across, but we're going to get it detected. That's not the way to go. I need to know which side it's on before I take a approach. Okay, there it goes. How are we supposed to kill it? That's what I don't get. You know what, I actually want to try something. I'm sure it's absolutely crazy, but I want to try something. Can we hurt this thing? What is it? It says 12 kills. So does that mean we can take this thing out? That is the question. Now it's a waiting game. Come on, buddy. Walk on by. I want to see if I can turn you into a porcupine. I wonder if it would be better to go with the blast arrows. I have no idea. Let's go with the serrated tip just to see. Okay, sounds like he's coming. Okay, not yet. Sorry, I'm just loosening up my trackball. I really apologize if that made anybody motion sick. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Okay, whatever it is, we go right through it, so I don't even know if it's real. So... Okay, we carry on. I don't know what else we can do with that, so... Men's ward is done. Back to the women's ward. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. It's the only thing left. So... What are these things like scattered around now? Allows us to open the door, but this was just yeah, that was just that. There was another door that was locked, right? Right guys? Pretty sure there was one more door. Okay, whatever the hell this was. I know 
we're still probably gonna have to go further in, I have no doubt. Okay, nothing in the corner. Whatever the vent does, or the, the stop grabbing the corner. Whatever the, the wheel does. Let's grab all this crap. See if there's anything else. Scissors, loot on stop, grab the loot on the top. That's candles. This allows us to go in here, wherever the hell that leads to. Excitable patience. So, what the hell was the other way? Alright, we're over time anyway, so um, we'll have to figure that out in the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching. You guys are awesome viewers. really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy them. This has been a bizarre trip so far. I'm curious where this is going, so you all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, queue up another video in the list, or stay tuned for more. In the meantime, goodbye, everybody!